Welcome back, guys. I seem to have had a visitor last night, um, or this morning, or today sometime, but I don't think they took anything, so that's, that's fine. So I wanted to teach you guys how to make a sheep pen, because we're getting sheep today. Now, you need a... Uh, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. Now, well, some people, when they first start out, it's easier to make an adobe oven base, which, if you remember, is a mixture of the clay and the reeds. And you just hit it once with a, a round stone. Uh, this is a nice temporary one if you're in a hurry to get it. You can lay it out in this format, but... Um, Leave yourself a room at the corner to get in with a berry bush planted um, on one side and then an additional square area blocked off so they can't get out and run around. A lot of people tend to forget that part. Um, this is the way that I prefer to do it though. Uh, it's more secure and it's I think it's lovelier. Personally, I think it's prettier. I when I get much more established and I have a lot more materials and it's easier for me to gather the materials, I will go and build them like a stables or an indoor area kind of thing. But what you need for this, once you get your bronze tools, you grab your bronze adds and you make all of these into fence kits. And the reason I like doing it this way is because when you get a horse, you'll have somewhere to park them. Uh, while you work on getting their saddle and their bridle and getting a cart set up for them. So you just go around and you do all of what I just did right there. You grab yourself one of these guys. Doo, 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 and you make stakes out of them. Because you need to go around and put them all in, in the ground to secure them. So you make... This is the east wall stakes, and you use your shovel and set them in the ground, just like that. So I'll get back to you when I have finished doing all of the fences, and then I'll show you how to make a gate for them all. So as you're finishing building your fence, you want to make sure you're on the outside, just in case you forget to bring a small short shaft or put it on there, because once you do that, you can get in and out. But if you get to do that, then you're stuck in the fence and you have to die and get reborn. Um, it's just, it's just worth it to remember. And this tool lasted a perfect amount of time. I need to put it somewhere. That was pretty amazing, actually. So where our shovel is kaputz, it's done for. That's kind of sad. Next thing you're gonna need to do is make sure you get a bowl and put it up again, like touch a full berry bush so you get a full bowl of berries and then you put a carrot in it. You're going to need that for this next step. The next step is going and finding a mouflon, making sure it has a baby and then shooting it. So a good idea to is to get your, your arrow and your bow ready. You should probably take more than one, actually. I only took one because something can, sometimes something can happen to the arrow when you shoot it. And watch, that's going to be what happens to me. So we have to go to the mountainous biome, which is the gray one. Hello, donkey. Here we go. So we have a move on here. We want to wait for it to have a baby before we shoot. Because the baby is what we want. This is a wild mouflon, and we want to domesticate a mouflon. And to do that, we need its baby. Come around. Pop one out, mama. <gasps> there it goes. Ah, oh, good. And my arrow broke. Uh, didn't I tell you? Likely that was what was going to happen. So we're going to put our... If your arrow is lucky enough to have survived, you're going to put it in your backpack. And put your bow on... The outside, you're going to take the baby like this. That sounded really horrible. <laughs> eh. When I made m my fence area, I wanted to make sure that it was somewhere in the open, near a few berry bushes at least. Makes it easier. And only one side open. Alrighty. So we're going to drop him, take the rope back, and we're going to feed him because if we don't, he's going to die. That's what this bowl was for. I'm going to immediately run off 
can find another berry bush and another carrot and I'm gonna repeat the process with its with its first kid when it grows up it's gonna have a baby and that baby's gonna look like the sheep that you recognize then you want to make sure you feed it because that's gonna be your very first domesticated sheep and that's what you're gonna get your wool from and then you're gonna keep your mouflon alive because it's gonna be a free resource for more sheep you don't have like if you get rid of it you'll have the only way you'll have to get more sheep is to feed sheep now it's just a waiting game poof that was pretty amazing actually <laughs> if you read that it tells you it's a domesticated mouflon and you're gonna see it pop out a lamb in a moment so as you see right there it just popped out a lamb and it says a domestic mouflon with lamb we have to wait for the lamb to leave the mom to feed it Right, just like that and then we feed the baby and it's gonna poof up into an adult lamb it's gonna actually the noise it makes I love it it's funny and it pooped <laughs> that poop if you have a shovel that's what you need to put on that wet compost pile we made it um, in the farming video but the domestic sheep they're glorious and derpy and as you can see the mouflon it just had another baby so it's an endless source of sheep so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use some of our bronze that we have i might need to make some more in that case i'll just cut to making more i'm gonna use the bronze that we have to make some shears and i'm gonna show you what that looks like and how to do it so we have enough okay i'm gonna make some bronze and i will see you guys in a few minutes okay so now that i have my bronze bars I'm going to show you how to make the blades um, for the shears. So we need a blade blank. Oh, you know what would help if, is if I had my actual hammer. Ugh. There's one. Let's go ahead and make three. Let's see if I can make three. Ooh, that was some timing. I did not mean to be grabbing a hold of the... Uh, I'm sorry. I've had a long week of work and I'm tired. So we're going to take this blade blank and the file. And we're going to touch it once. <laughs> twice. And we're going to do that to all three of them. And that's all we need to do for that one. So to make the shears, we touch one blade to another and we're going to go grab our smithing hammer and we're going to left click that's it now that we have a knife we can make bread at the kitchen i'm going to take this guy and i need to grab a, a um this thank you i can't i can't think of words again it just seems when i hit that record button all ability to speak english goes out my mouth all right so we have a knife and we're actually going to need that um with the mouflons too with the not the mouflons the sheep we will need that with the sheep at some point so we have a set of shears let's take our shears in here looky there we have our first fleece so i'm going to set that down i can't do anything with it uh that's because i didn't uh, make any tools to to help me with that what i want is a basket i want this disc i want my flint tip bow thing and put that in here i'm gonna go get my bone needle though my bone needle with the little bit of thread i have in it then i'm gonna go get me two straight shafts and there we go i'm going to make a small short shaft with that i'm going to grab this disc looky there now that we have our drop spindle we get our first ball of wool now i'm not going to make some knitting needles because if i, I make knitting needles right now i'm just going to make a wool booty so um oh yeah i did show you how i was going to make those I was using that crafting guide, Hope, and I just, uh, recently found out y'all really can't see that crafting guide that well. So we need another stick. We need a sapling. I'm going to find one and I will be right back. Okay, right, so now that we have our skewer, what we want to do is take our shears and just left click on them. 
and now we have knitting needles. What I want to go do is ramp up my sheep production because he won't grow any more wool unless I feed him. Of course, that comes with poop and I don't have a shovel. Sadly, I'm going to have to make one, but I think I'm going to make a steel one next. And I'll be back when I get some bulls going for the sheep. So, no, no, you're not allowed to get sick. <laughs> I'm going to feed him. I'm going to make another sheep. And then I'm going to feed this guy, too. So he'll floof back up for me. And then I'm going to feed this new baby here, too. So if you see, it just says domestic lamb. When you feed him, it says fed domestic lamb. And with the shorn sheep, it says fed shorn sheep, too. So you can tell. Oh, hi. You floofed up quickly. <laughs> So, I want to make a rope because my my garden hoe just broke. So to do that, you take your shears and you cut a ball and it makes two. And if you don't do anything else with it, you can use that for thread on a needle. But I need rope. And you left click and right click to drop it off of there. Alright. So... I'm going to take this, put it in my backpack, because I'm going to make another hoe in a little while. I'm going to put this string here, and then I'm taking my shears, and I'm going to go and shear my sheep again. Bonk, bonk, bonk. They make such horrible noises. And they'll stay put, so long as you don't touch that. Right. So to make a saddle with this, I'm going to open your crafting guide and you look. It's telling you drop spindle. But if you have a bone needle with nothing else, you can make a wool felt, which is what the cats in the game sleep on. I, if you use a dead sheep's wool, if okay, so if you kill a sheep that has wool and you take the wool off of it after you kill it and then use a bone needle on it, you can make a, a saddle, which uh, it... It's for the ostriches. So what I want actually is a better top. So we're going to take three wool. We're going to take these two wool here, put them together. You have a big ball of wool and you can make yourself a skirt out of that. You can also say big ball of yarn and a rope, make a fishing net. That is a good way to start fishing for shrimp and stuff. But um, like I said, I want a, I want a, a sweater top. So, there. Now we're making a huge ball of yarn. So if you open your crafting guide again, you can see you can take the knitting needles to it once and it makes a wool sweater. If you take it to it um, again, well, if you cut it, then it makes uh, the apron, which doesn't provide you with any warmth. But if you take it to it again, you make a hat out of it. Pretty sure. Let's take a peek here. Um, no, I was wrong. So the wool hat, I think, is something with the skirt, if you do it again with the skirt. But I have a nice, warmer top. If you watch my, um, little bar right here, my temperature gauge, I don't know why it went down. <laughs> but I'm gonna put my sweater on, and it should have done me better, but it doesn't look like it really does. Oh, it actually does me worse. That's weird. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. Okay. So we're going to say fudge the wool and go for a seal coat. We're going to go fancy. Give me that. And for this excursion, you need this stick, which is very intimidating to a nice, cute little seal. <laughs> I'm going to take my flint knife with me and this big, mighty boomstick. And I will see you guys when I get to the seals. Here we go. Here is the land of the seals. I, mean, I only want one of them. So what I'm going to do, you wait for them to stop moving. Oh, hi. And take the flint knife and you skin it and you run away because you just did a horrible, horrible thing. And I'm going back to my sheep because that's where my needle and thread are. So you take your needle and thread to the seal skin. And there you go. You've got a very nifty, uh, spiffy looking coat. I'm going to put it on and we're actually going to watch this time to see if it does any good. Um, well, the indicator moved a tiny bit. I don't know if it's actually working, but look at me, I'm fabulous. Got this uh, Godiva flowing hair here, the Lady Godiva hair. So we're gonna take that ball of thread that we haven't cut from and 
Touch it to the bone needle and now we have several bits of uh, needle and thread to use. I can move this over here, clean it up, and that is it for today. That is all the basics actually for you to get a grip on to start off um, on a well-established first time base to where you won't have to worry about feeding yourself or starving and it won't feel like such a rush to get stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and tidy my stuff up. And I will see you on the next one. And when we start the next one, we're going to start with the how to make leather, stuff like that. Because you probably are at a point where you want a horse where you can ride and a cart. So we're going to do leather. We're going to do rubber. We're going to do more advanced carts. And then we're going to end up with a, a horse and a cart where you can store up to eight items in. That's going to come in really handy when you want to start looking around building materials. Alrighty guys, I hope y'all enjoyed it and learned something today and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. We'll see you later. Bye. Ah, come here horse.